Hello, I'm Anthony, and today we'll be doing this problem. As you can see here, we have a diagram, and the question is, if F1 is 50, F2 is 60, and F3 is 80, find A, the magnitude, the magnitude, the resultant vector of F1 plus F2 plus F3, find the angle between the resultant vector and the horizontal. So let's get started. Here we have F1, F2, and F3. First it's to F of 1. So the, you know the y will be sine and the x will be cosine. So let's type those values in. Draw x is 50 cosine of 20, 5 y 50 sine of 25 that comes about to about x is 45.3 and y is 21.1 now let's go to f sub 2 see this again this again will be the y which is sine and the x actually the y and the x will be cosine so I'm just gonna Skip that part, and x is okay. So this is x, and this is y. It's the cosine. Now let's draw that out. X is 60 cosine 35, and y is oh, it's going down, so it will be negative 60 sine of 35. And so that will be about x is 49.1 and y is negative 34.4. Here is no triangle, it's just a line going to the left. So x is negative 80.0 and y is, well, y is nothing. Here we have a table for all of those values, so let's plug them in. 45.3, 21.4. Forty nine point one. It looks like a two. Negative thirty four point four. Negative eighty and zero. Now let's add all those values together. So if we add all the x's together, we get fourteen point four. And if we add all the y's together we get negative 13.3 now let's put those values in the triangle it's gonna go since x is positive it's gonna go to the right of the origin and since the y is negative it's gonna go down so 14.4 and negative 13.3 and let's complete the triangle let's find the hypotenuse so we just do some math. The I'm just gonna put H for hypotenuse is square root of fourteen point fourteen point four squared plus negative thirteen point three squared and that comes out to about nineteen Point six. Now we have to find this angle, which according to laws of geometry is the same as this angle right here. So let's find that. I seem to be running out of space, excuse me. So the tangent of, we're going to do tangent. Uh, opposite over opposite over adjacent so that 13 the negative doesn't really matter if I keep it over 14.4 so arc tangent of that
should equal theta. And that comes out to about, well, theta is between 0 and 360. Right there it is. It's in between them. So, since this is in quadrant 4, we know it's going to be between, yeah, we know it's going to be really big. Once I do the math, I get theta to be about 317.3 degrees. So the ma so the final place of this thing is 14 the final place of this thing is 19.6 19.6 units we don't have we don't have any units we'll just say units at 317.3 degrees that is the final place of this box or whatever it is and